Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's an old signal generator or something like that. It's called Steamy. I think that is for stimulator. I mean, it must be something like that, right? The company is called HSE. And I think that stands for Hugo Sachs Electronique. That is a German company and they still exist. I just checked out their web page and check it out. Their logo is still the same, just that there's a ring around it so it's a little bit more modern. But the company still exists. And yeah, they do make a lot of lab equipment and stuff like that. I don't know how old this one is, but I think I need to open it first before I power this up. I can feel, see, there's something loose in here, so... DC. How can you make a pulse in DC? But that, I think then, in you, when you go to DC, then this is just a DC voltage, right? And then you can reverse your output. So I think up here... It's positive, that one, right? And you have an internal resistance of 1K. Okay, fantastic. But this is a, volt, a DC voltage from 0 to 20 volts. So it can also do that. There's not a lot else to... to figure out what the heck is that funky... You need to push it and then you can rotate that one. And of course that is the frequency... So this is the repeat, and this is the length of the pulse, obviously, right? So this is just a pulse generator of some sort. And then there's only a fuse on the back. Okay, so let's, uh, let's open it and have a look. How are we going to open this? I mean, I only see those four screws, so that it has to be that, right? So that was easy. Yes, it was definitely just those four screws, and then I pulled it out. And there's not a lot of electronics inside here, on the top at least. It's nice and uh, clean and all that. So let's look at the bottom. So yeah. The, oh, what I call the bottom side of the unit. Here you go. I should probably go a little bit closer. So if I look a little bit careful here, what I find is only four transistors and five diodes, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get a lot more light. See, so here's a transistor, diode, transistor, transistor. And then there's, of course, a power rectifier diode. A single wave rectifier diode to make the... The voltage, I bet it's this one, right? right? So these two windings here, that that will be the input from the transformer. And uh, yeah, we got f uh, 15 plus 15, so that's 30. And then it goes probably via this to that one, right? And then we've got another transistor, two diodes. And that is, yeah, all there is to it. Yeah, this potentiometer was loose so I fixed that one and uh, yeah we got the different switches for the different uh, pulses and repeat uh, is that one all those resistors and look at the the capacitors for calibration of the different timing I mean isn't that just amazing somebody spent quite a lot of time poking around with that and <laughs> this long super thin flimsy wire here this is a chassis connection inside here, see? And really? <laughs> I just love it. And uh, yeah, that is what it is. Uh, you can even read the circuit board here. It says STIMI and then one. So there's probably also a number two or something like that. So this is the first STIMI. And uh, yeah, we also got a little bit of handwriting here on the different signals that goes to the different uh, switches. 
But I think I'm ready to power this up. I don't think see anything that should prevent me from uh, power this up. So let's see if it works in any possible way. So I think I am ready to plug it in and crank up the voltage. I think let's just go straight to 220 because I see a lamp and it's only using about 3 watts. Okay, 180, okay, 220 volts and 9 watts, but I don't see any kind of output pulse. So what am I doing wrong here? Is this the... Nope. Ah, look at that. There is a pulse set up. Oh, I'm a dumb. It was just because my trigger here is not right. See? Something is going on, but... Hmm. Really? Okay, it was me. Now I figured it out. So this is DC, and look at that. So here we got DC output, or now my maximum output level. And then here is the pulse width. And I can make it, of course, smaller and smaller and smaller. So this is the, the widest pulse width. And here is the repeat. See, now it goes closer and closer. And at this speed here, of course, I can make the pulse width smaller and smaller. So yes, this fantastic four transistor project definitely works, <laughs> I must say. So this is the smallest, and what what is it? It says DAWA milliseconds uh, point 0.1, okay? So that means this should be point 0.1 of a millisecond. How about if we check out if this is really true? What the heck? This is exactly 100 microseconds. I mean, exactly. <laughs> okay, five. Let's see. Yes, 500. I mean, look at that. Wow. How is that possible? One millisecond is just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Five milliseconds. And yeah, I mean, really? And this is the... This one is supposed to be 100 hertz, and it is 96. So the next one is 50, and then it's 48. Okay, and this one is 20, and I read 18. I mean, this is just amazing. And how old is this? Um, my guess is about 1970. Um, because of the way it's made. It could be, in, be plus minus a few years, but it should be around that. And uh, if you know anything better than that, please tell me and please comment on the H. And uh, <laughs> I did, of course, uh, Google uh, a lot, but there's no information whatsoever about this instrument. So, uh, yeah, here, there you have it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please come again soon. Bye-bye.